The fear I had in my heart was I didn't know what was going to happen. What started off as an educational trip for a group of Flint high school students, they say left them with an unfortunate lesson on racism. And the story is all new tonight at 11. ABC 12's Carice Jackman talked to the students and leaders about their ordeal. Carice. Yes, man and Andy, they say it's just unfortunate and a shame. The group was wrapping up a road trip visiting colleges and universities in the South, but when their bus broke down in northern Florida, they say the next few hours turned into an experience they'll never forget. I was just really trying to stay optimistic and hope for the best in that situation. Brittany Clerkey and a group of about 90 adults and teens were wrapping up a college tour on their way back to Flint when their bus had mechanical issues. They ended up staying the night at the Econo Lodge in Live Oak, Florida. Coordinator Blake Oldham says right after dinner is when the trip took a much different and disturbing tone. It was all my white people and they started taking pictures of all the kids like we were walking in and out of the hotel. I heard one of the ladies, she said, you know, if I see one more of them, I'm calling the law. Melissa Black was on the trip and says the students were peaceful but felt uncomfortable at the hotel. They were calling us the N-word and they called Blake the N-word. We were just like, whoa. Odom yeah, says things we, felt so we, tense we, that to avoid any <laughs> trouble, he tried to be proactive by calling police. They arrived and told the group to stay in the room for the night. Odom says the officer left him with a chilling message. The officers did pull me to the side and he said, you know, I just want to let you know in this area right off the interstate, uh, people aren't too accommodating to uh, you all. And he said, if you know what I mean, and I said, black people, and he said, yes. The students tell ABC 12 overnight the staff antagonized them, and they say they were told to check out the next morning immediately at 10 the next day. And as they left, that's when Odom says tensions reached a boiling point when he says he heard the manager say. Um, we're going to get these off our property. My name is Carice Jackman from ABC 12 News in Flint. ABC 12 reached out to the Econo Lodge, but our calls were never returned. They should not be able to get away with treating us like that. And Odom says they plan on taking legal action and have already called the hotel's corporate headquarters. Carice Jackman, ABC 12 News.